We knew that when we were going to build the 800, we were going to incorporate some of the same, some of the same components. So we incorporate the same. The mid-range is, is effectively the same. Uh, the head is the same. But the relative position of these the, the, these components to the other components and the size of the other components, for instance, the the, the, the larger base unit, the distance between the voice coils is all different. So your your tuning is naturally going to be different. We were able to. Uh, squeeze and put even more technologies and uh, improvements in the parts and components which are ma making the 800 the outstanding product it is. So we want the, the drive unit to reproduce the base node without adding anything at all to that signal. So reproducing exactly the harmonic content of the original music. So in order to do that you have to be very linear. So turn the electrical signal coming from the amplifier into an acoustic pressure signal, identical in shape. The balance between the size and the sensitivities of all the units are finely tuned uh, to get a performance which is uh, the best you can extract from those drive units. We had the aerofoil on the 8-inch on the other two, but now we've got the aerofoil technology on, on the 10-inch and having two 10 inches is, uh, is a good place to be if you want to get a good extension. We have improved uh, the breakup frequency for the use of the aerofoil cone. We have improved the distortion uh, by both using the aerofoil cone and linearizing the motor and the suspensions. This new driving it, even though it's the same, it's the same diameter as the previous generation, has been completely redesigned. So it's new cone, new suspension, uh, new mode system, new coil. Uh, since we have a um, much larger voice call in the 10-inch unit, uh, using the uh, hybrid approach of the smaller units where we have both a damping uh, foam and a carbon skin on top uh, was not the best option because of the uh, additional mass such a huge quantity of foam would have put on top of the cone. And uh, instead of going for a hybrid approach, we were, let's say, faithful to the sandwich philosophy and we developed on purpose a sandwich dust cap, uh, which is basically replicating the aerofoil structure being a, a carbon skin, synthetic foam, carbon skin, sandwich structure. So you might think that it's particularly unusual for, uh, for low frequency driving it to have an impact on the, on the mid-range sound. But you have to remember that uh, bass units, when they produce distortion, will produce distortion at frequency higher than the, the band they're supposed to reproduce, basically the mid-range. So by getting rid of all the distortion coming from that, you need to effectively uh, make the mid-range sound a lot, a lot cleaner, a lot more neutral. You know, the, the, the motors are different, the chassis are different, the cones are different, the, you know, all, all of these little components are all different from the previous, but when they've all added together, they're all their little differences. It's almost like it's an unreal change.